patient is the theme here at Seco. Yes. Now, you're working with many partners on this particular application. Yes. Can you give me an indication of what you're actually manufacturing? Yeah, we're actually manufacturing something to do with this car here. It's uh, the, the brake hub, the steering knuckle. Um, so we start off with a solid block of aluminium. Uh, we, it's programmed by Autodesk. Uh, the work holding is by Brain and Holmes. Um, we've worked together on this as a project, looking at how we can hold it to be able to machine the second up, because obviously the part itself's got no flat faces on it, so it's uh, quite a difficult part to hold. Uh, we're holding on an expanding mandrel. We're using Houghton coolant. Uh, we've got a, a, a twin pallet horizontal machine. So now, th th this, this part, I'm led to believe, was originally made on a fifth axis machine, but with the new strategy, you're doing it on the horizontal and more productively as well. Yes, that's correct, yes. We can actually machine all the faces we need to get to, uh, just using the three axis, yes. And, and you've also reduced a lot of the weight out of this component with this new strategy. Yes, the software itself is designed to, we, it was designed by a human being to start with uh, on Autodesk software, and then it's been put into this generative which calculates the, the most strongest structure but the least amount of material so it gives it the best strength and the least weight. Now in regards to the work holding, uh, Brandon Holmes has supplied the tombstone to, to hold this. In your, in, your, in your opinion, how important is the work holding? Oh, very important, obviously. It's, everything has to match up so when we turn it over there's no mismatch in the side so it's very, got to be very accurately uh, placed so it's, uh, it all lines up. And, and what tooling are you using for this, for this particular component? It's all Seco tools. It's uh, the Aeromaster, which does all the facing, the roughing out. We've got 8 mil with the corner radiuses on, uh, solid carbide end mills, made by Jabro. And then we've got ball nose cutters in that come and finish the scanning. And, and, and finally, touching on the Doosan machine, the 5000, yes. in, in regards to the capacity of this machine, what, what's the swing diameter on both pallets? Uh, you've got 500 square pallets. Uh, you've got two pallets, one each side, so you can be loading one pallet while you're working the other. You've got a cube on there, you can fit four parts on each pallet on each side, so it gives you a good potential to load eight parts and run them overnight on man. So very useful, useful tool machine. Thanks Ian. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you.